So here we are, another long weekend. I haven't had time really to do anything. I think this poinsettia I threw in water actually rooted. That's pretty cool. So everything's still in here, and I've been out of town for a night. Now I get myself a weekend, so I need to get a lot of these into the house. It's we had a lot of nights that are below zero. My Amazon so, uh, lily is um, flowering. It likes this kind of weather. Weird that the camera is not lightening up, but yeah. And my my Christmas cactus is coming back. Yes, I picked a cucumber. My cucumbers didn't do very good this year, but at least I got some. But yeah, it's starting to come back now. I was super worried about it. it just fell right apart. And uh, yeah, everything else in here is just doing whatever it's doing. This one, while I was away, dried out, so I've lost the top on it. Oh, come on, phone. <laughs> See if I can get it to lighten up here. There we go. Yeah, so I lost the top on it. That's the turtle tree. <sighs> well, I suppose we better get at it. The jades like it out here. They seem to like the cooler weather. Um, my jade from Connor, that big nice one I had for the eagle. I have no idea what happened to it. It completely went soft. It's completely dead. Completely gone. Total loss. No idea what happened. I have lots of cuttings off of it, and I still have the other one here. That's doing absolutely phenomenally well. They were in the same conditions, outdoors, same... I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It is what it is, I guess. Oh, these guys are starting to dry out. I'll have to do some watering in here. I brought all my giant sequoias in here too. And my redwoods. Some of them are not doing so hot, but we'll have to repot them into real pots and whatnot. I also brought my um, a Norway maple in here. It shot up a bunch of new leaves for some reason, and they're really fresh, and we've had like heavy frosts and all sorts of stuff outside. You can see how orange it is out there. Even my, uh, even my, um, tamaracks are starting to turn. Sorry, I was trying to figure out how to get my zoom back. You can see it turning yellow there. They're usually the last ones to turn yellow. Usually, like the ones in the ground will go yellow after all the leaves fall off the the trees. Then the tamaracks turn. Yeah, I guess, uh, guess we'll be doing this today. It's really crowded in here. We had so much wind that... Uh, it actually destroyed my husband's carport. Mine stayed intact, thank goodness. Okay. Close this door. So I turned on the heat in there. We'll see what it does. I'm surprised those plants made it, but there we go. And now it won't focus to the light out here. Reset. Reset. I'm not sure what what it's doing, but let's see if I can fix it somehow. Yeah, I got no clue. <laughs> Maybe it's just my screen. I don't know. Yeah. Everything.
everything's going all red and the plums are pretty much done. Bougainvilleas lost their leaves because of the heavy frost. Just burnt them right off. There we have it. Pomegranates are all fall colored, except that one. But somehow, for some reason, they don't get frost here. Like this little spot here, I don't know what it is about this spot, but they don't seem to be hit by frost here for some reason. It's really weird. My uh, silver maples, I'm not sure what's going on with them. I should probably plant at least one in the ground. The willows are doing really good. Look at them. Nice. Oh well, see there's hubby's shop all ripped up. Well, better get to it. And I got a bit preoccupied with other stuff. But came back in. I had the heat on in here now. See the heater's on. I just came to check the temperature. And we are at, oops. We are at about 17 degrees or so. And that's on the lowest setting, so... That should do. We were going below zero in here for quite a while. Oh, well, that's not going to work. There we go. I have to get used to all the settings. I'm going to start bringing these in. I was supposed to earlier today, but I didn't quite get that far. A long weekend is not always time off for me. <laughs> I work harder sometimes at home than at work. So I am uh, just got all the weeds out of my big desert rose. I'm gonna take all the dead leaves off when I get outside and then I'm gonna scoot it into the house. Uh, I won't do that on video because I have one hand on my flashlight and the other one will be holding the tree. Yeah. Yeah, it begins. Very, very late. It's a darn good thing this trailer has heat. It stayed warm enough in here to keep everything alive. And yeah, we are into the minuses at night for quite a while now. So get these guys inside and figure out how to keep the cat away from them. <laughs> so we had the uh, bears come through the property. And uh, the two I chased away weren't the ones that did this. It was... The one I chased away yesterday that did this, it came in and it broke this branch right off our apple tree. Did I say you could eat off my lawn? Get off my lawn! Move it! Get off my lawn! Get out! And it's, it's a uh, 
quite a large branch. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to saw that off and cover the wound for the winter. And you can see the big claw marks here, likely the cub that did it. Um, I'm gonna see about maybe taking some cuttings off of this, if some cuttings might work. I'm gonna have to do it today. I probably won't do it on camera, but uh, we're gonna be well below zero for a while here. So I wanna take the cuttings before the branch dies completely and see if I can get them growing. That'd be nice. And then I gotta take that branch off of there and seal that wound for the winter time and hopefully the tree will be okay. Yeah one of those things today. Bears are so close to going into hibernation now. They're just grabbing whatever food they can, whenever they can, anything easy, but they won't chase or anything like that. The pond is down to pretty much a normal winter water level. Well, maybe a little lower than normal, but not by much. The root barb I put in here did really well. Yeah, no, it's about normal. What it would normally be at this time of year. There's no tracks or anything. Well, there's a couple little tracks there. Looks like from a bird. Other than that, no big animal tracks. That's good. And there's lots of animal damage back here. I haven't had time to come back here in a very long time. I'm gonna have to recut all this stuff out of here. Yeah. Full fall here. Actually, I'm surprised there's any green back here at all. Um, I guess that they're protected from frost there. Wherever the frost hit, pretty much all the leaves are gone. Do some cutting I think back here get it ready for snowmobiling this winter oops yeah, she's rough Sorry about the bumpiness. Fell in a hole. Yeah, these are getting tall. These Osage dogwood or whatever the heck they are drive me mad. They take over everything. They're so pretty though and they smell nice when they flower, but the rest of the year. No, you can see almost all the leaves are down back here. And all the leaves being down, guess what that means? You know what that means? That means that the tamaracks will be changing color. Once all the leaves are down, they usually change. I just have to be a little bit vigilant because we have three bears hanging around, so. Very nice back here. I also have to watch for hunters. It's hunting season. I'm near the hydro line. Lots of people walk the hydro line and I'm not wearing orange, so I can't go off the property. see the storm coming. There's uh, ice rain in some places and 
snow in other places. That's why the sky's so dark. All right, I'm not gonna go any farther. Gunner! I know there's lots of hunters out, so we'll take the trail going the other way. Maybe I'll light up the camera again in a minute. But I thought you guys would like to see what it's looking like now. This is the Canadian Thanksgiving long weekend. I haven't had a heck of a lot of time to do stuff. So I've got the heater on in the um, I've got the heater on in the trailer because I haven't had time to take all those in. And it seems to be working good. The trailer seems to be staying nice with that little uh, oil heater on in there. Which, which is nice. I'll be able to heat it like Nigel heats his um, greenhouse. Yeah. Alright, so I'll go way around the other way and we'll go have a look and see if the tamaracks are turning. With all the leaves gone, or mostly gone, they should be starting to turn now. My potted ones are already doing the fall thing. Yeah. Here we are, we'll enter the big woods. My kids call it the dark forest. You can see over here, you can see Grandpa, big Grandpa Tamarack over there. We'll get a bit closer, but you can see he's just, just starting to turn yellow. Just. Yeah. We'll go for a little jaunt through the forest here. It's dark so early now. Ah. Oh well. I'll take a break and I'll turn back on when I get to Grandpa Tamarack there. Wow, these trees have really grown. This tree got so much wider. My little trail down here. Never had branches over it. Now it does. That's really nice to see. Ouch. These uh, prickles can go away though. Oh, we see Grandpa Tamarack's just starting to change to yellow now. Just getting his fall on. Actually a little earlier than normal. Usually he stays green until pretty much all the leaves are gone off of the deciduous trees. But he's changing a bit now. Won't be long. He'll be all full straw colored. Such a beautiful tree. I should come see him in the morning when the sun first hits him.
He just glows. Yeah. I'm going to go see the other one. It must be about the same now. I've got burrs all over me. Ah! Itchy. My trails are so grown in. Oop. Ow! Just the bear's been using them. See the other one yet? Oh, wow, even this tree's gotten way wider. Oh, I love it. Uh oh. A bunch of these all got knocked down. These alders. Ouch. Well, I had this all trimmed out. Oh, these dogwoods grow back so fast. Oh my gosh. I had this all trimmed. All the way back, you can even still see my piles on the ground. Wow, they're even taller than me. Others. i come back and chop them back again. see the trees oops too close you see the trees are all thickening up back here like the last couple of years maybe because last winter was so nice with no snow and fairly mild the trunks just like thickened right up it's really cool to see that kind of a difference but the underbrush went nuts too. Like everything just went wild this year. Two years in a row though, I haven't really been able to hike or anything because of the bugs. Let's see if we can find that other tamarack. I chased the bears out of here. These are all bear trails down here chase them out of here earlier. Should be able to see them around this corner. Oh. We've had a lot of really super strong winds too, and it's been wreaking havoc on everything. Um, should be right around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. He is going yellow. Right up there. There. Zoom in a little bit. It's getting dark, I know. You can see the yellow through there. Come around here. Should be able to see it better from here. There he is. Look at that. Isn't that wild? Yeah, it's going nice and yellow too. Yeah, that's how I found him is how yellow he turned. I definitely got to come and do some bushwhacking. Oh my goodness. Oh, the mushroom circle is just a... Uh, black ring now. Oh, why does it do that? It's like it's got a weird night mode. I gotta figure out this. Play around with this camera more. Figure out the different settings for it. 
I do really like this new phone, this Google Pixel 8. It's not a pro, it's just a regular one. Overall, I do like it. Whoa, there's a hole in the ground. The ants are all ready for winter. Oh, I see the skunk dug in there. But you can see they piled all the needles all over the, even brought branches over, but they piled all the needles there for insulation. The ones out here do that too. Here's one. These guys in the daytime will still be somewhat active. So is that guy. <laughs> yeah. It is so cold. I don't have a toque on yet, but I do have like 10 layers of clothing. <laughs> but it is what it is. This is the time of year. There's that other little ant hill there, I'll show you. They collect all the pine needles to keep themselves warm. Look at that. Isn't that wild? This is a new ant hill from this year. They're pretty organized little ant hill. That's for sure. Definitely ready for winter. Yeah, I gotta get all these burrs off me. All right, that's a wee little walk before dark, before the storm comes. It's a pretty good storm over there. Yeah. Sit. Good boy. Let's get some bonsai work done. I got myself a little tiny fire going. I got a little spot ready in here because it's absolutely freezing cold outside and we're expecting snow at some point in time. So I'm going to close up the door. It's nice and warm back here because I have the um, electric heater going. So later on tonight, I need to unplug the electric heater and plug in a light if, if I s don't have time to do everything during daylight. So I'm going to bring these up one at a time and some of them need repot. Some of them, they all need water, but some of them need repot. Some of them... Uh, just need a clean up and then they can go inside the house. It's been pretty cold and it's not super windy outside today. So I'm actually able to walk from the trailer to the house without having them break, which is which was a big problem. The last few weeks there, the high winds were quite a battle. So yeah, here we go. Seriously, didn't I just tell you to leave? Get out! <laughs> 